In this video, we will be exploring nanotechnology in concrete materials. I am sure that a lot of us have heard of the term nanotechnology, but what exactly is it? Nanotechnology is the understanding and controlling of materials at the nanoscale, and is approximately 1 to 100 nanometers. The existence of nanoscale particles is not a new concept. About a decade ago, there was an explosion in nanotechnology-based materials leading to developments in areas such as polymers, plastics, electronics, car manufacturing, and medicine. It is important to recognize that matter exhibits unusual physical, chemical, and biological properties on the nanoscale meaning that a material's nanoscale properties can be different from its macroscale properties. For example, gold. Differences can be found comparing it under different sizes. Some nanostructure materials are also stronger or have different properties compared to other forms or sizes of the same material. With respect to concrete, the surface area of its particles greatly increases at the nanoscale. This means that a greater amount of concrete particles comes into contact with their surroundings, which affects the reactivity and properties of such materials. Now let's discuss more about concrete. Concrete is a nanostructured, multi-phase composite material that ages over time. It is composed of water, aggregates, and Portland cement. Aggregates being sand, gravel, or crushed stone. Cement, usually in powder form, acts as binding agent when mixed with water and aggregates. The addition of nanofine particles can improve the properties of concrete. Nanotitanium dioxide and nanosilica are probably the most reported additives used in nanomodified concrete. Nanomaterials can improve the compressive strength and ductility of concrete. Carbon nanofibers and the carbon nanotubes also have been used to modify strength, modulus, and ductility of concretes. Carbon nanofibers can act as bridges across voids and cracks that ensure low transfer in tension. In this figure, the carbon nanofibers are bridging to fix the cracks on this material. Researchers have developed many ways to modify the cement properties through nano modification. Nanoporous thin film coating is a technology used on aggregates. Nanoporous thin film uses water-suspended nanoparticles to coat aggregates through dip or spray coating methods. This is a cost-effective method as a small quantity of nanoparticle additives is needed to obtain significant results as opposed to the conventional addition methods. Here is an interesting example of concrete nanotechnology application. For example, white cement containing titanium dioxide nanoparticles can have photocatalytic properties. Titanium dioxide coatings have been applied to glass windows to photocatalytically decompose dirt particles that stick to the glass. When used on or in a concrete structure, photocatalysts decompose organic matters that dirty the surface. The organic compounds affected by the photocatalyst includes dirt, biological organisms, airborne pollutants, smoke, nitrous oxides, and sulfuric oxides. The catalyzed compounds break down into oxygen, carbon dioxide, water, sulfate, nitrate, and other molecules that are either beneficial or bad for the environment. The products of the catalytic reaction are easy to remove from the treated surface because the surface becomes hydrophilic, a term that means water-loving. A hydrophilic surface prevents moisture from forming beads of water that may cause stains by attracting and holding the dirt and then streaking the surface. Instead, Moisture forms a thin film across the surface that interferes with the adhesion of dirt. Rain or simple rinsing can then easily remove the dirt. Another example of the application of nanotechnology-based photocatalytic concrete is in Louisiana, where in approximately a quarter of a mile of a concrete roadway, 
was sprayed with a photocatalytic coating to demonstrate that ultra-fine titanium dioxide has the ability to trap and degrade nitrogen oxides in the environment. The performance of the coated test section was compared with untreated sections by measuring the amount of nitrogen oxide in the air and the nitrates deposited on the concrete pavement surface. The results of the initial monitoring indicated that the coating was effective in photocatalytic degradation of nitrogen dioxide. While nanotechnology-based construction products provide many advantages to the design and construction process, there are still many future challenges that we face. First being the production of nanomaterials requires relatively high energy. Given the desire of the construction industry to move towards more sustainable, cost and energy effective materials, the use of nanotechnology may in certain cases create an environmental challenge to the construction industry. Second challenge being any potential health safety concerns for nanomaterials are not completely investigated. Even though typically small addition rates of nanoparticles in concrete may act to reduce the likelihood of adverse negative health and environmental effects. Human exposure to nanoparticles is inevitable as nanoparticles become more widely used and as a result, nanotoxicology research is now gaining attention. However, while the number of nanoparticle types and applications continues to increase, studies to characterize any health effects are few in comparison. Researchers in the field have directed their attention on engineering materials using nanotechnology that will allow maximum use of locally available materials to avoid unnecessary transportation. They also want to develop specialty products such as products with blast resistance and conductive properties as well as temperature, moisture, and stress sensing abilities. I hope this video gives a little background to the world of nanotechnology and broadens your knowledge of the most commonly used man-made material in the world. Thanks for watching.